actually, that was actually a really good season. I actually really, really, I really enjoyed that season. I liked B. Yeah, she was. I saw good. her in Sainsbury's one. Yeah, she was having a positive or a negative day generally, and most of the time it was <laughs> negative. <laughs> um, so then Arthur and Becca are in the hot tub talking. Why are they in the hot tub having a or in the bath or whatever? The, oh, the fuck jacuzzi it is. bath. Oh, that's it. Well, presumably Arthur was knocking one out underneath. Yeah. The <laughs> Watch then, out, Rebecca. And then Arthur was talking to Rebecca about Kieran saying. Oh, you said you've just given him a blowjob. And she's like, <laughs> no, uh, well, all right then. He wanted to know all I the know. details about what had happened. A bit pervy, wasn't and it? And then he's like, what is it that ticks your boxes? Well, I thought he was trying to get some sexual imagery into his yeah. mind. So he could, like, G himself up for this almighty wank that he was going <laughs> to Oh, have. yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the wank bank. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, Rebecca said, Kira needs another 15 years of mucking about. And Arthur <laughs> you, said, "You should be dead by then." <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah, <laughs> your Arthur is good, brilliant. That's what. Any more Arthur quotes? I'm yeah, you. my new Arthur's Arthur's my my new Dre. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, oh yeah, so then they started doing this stupid task, which was um, you had to argue for or against certain political opinions. I think this is a bit unfair because if you've been assigned to if i'm assigned to argue against gay marriage for example and then they just show a clip of me going oh i don't think gays should get married are you then acting i look or, like yeah, yeah i look like a psychopath yeah, yeah. I look like nigel farage or something speaking of nigel farage yeah where's he gone he said he's, he's gonna come back if brexit is threatened <laughs> <laughs> like with a superhero cape <laughs> <laughs> but since he left ukip has just whiz- whizzed <laughs> i love that word it's just wizened <laughs> into nothing a husk of a fucking party <laughs> it's because conservatives are doing all their dirty work for them yeah so anyway enough politics Sick yeah of it. politicking no we've got to do this big brother politics what are so, we talking about farage again because they had to argue for or against these stupid uh, topics yeah. So but they, they were, yeah, they, they sort of like got in groups and they were yeah, like, do you want to so do that? And we yeah, want to do that. Like, uh, I'll take, you know, hate yeah. crimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take discrimination. Yeah. What is that? What's yeah. discrimination? Yeah. Um, and then um, Sigvinda said, this was a sort of omen of things to come. She said, climate change is made up. People think... Oh, like Donald Trump. Yeah. She's like, people think the earth is a globe. I was like, what? <laughs> like, what? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, and then they showed a flashback of Imran talking to Joe. I think he was talking to Joe. And he said, the world is flat. And, and there's, there's a, a wall of ice. And there's right? a wall of ice surrounding it. I think he's confused it with the film Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> or the Truman Show. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that actually really scared me. Because he, it see, he seems to believe it. That's terrifying. Even though there's like NASA and satellites and stuff where you can see that the world is And And um, Arthur's friend has been well, around um, the world on a boat. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I went and I spoke to a bloke and uh, he <laughs> sailed around the world and he said the world is round. He didn't hit the edge or anything. <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> no. Yeah. But like that's the only bit of proof that Arthur's friend went around. Stop ruining this important part of the podcast. This is Arthur's qu- quotes of gold, so you stop doing that, Kat. Tally, what have you got to add? What would you like to say? Oh, it's pure quiet now, it's I ask quiet one now. question. There isn't even a cat in the room. Hey! Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so then they were doing the, 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 the... That was just sort of a flashback. So they were doing the normal task, so they had a, a conversation about should there be a one-in, one-out policy for immigration... Now, in Big right. Brother, they like a four in, four, four out. out in the glittery toilet roll of I was going to say, it does depend what sort of implement you've got to sort of run this this <laughs> function. Like, Cannon? something that turns around <laughs> and is glittery. You sit, how are you going to do it? Like, one immigrant sits on the other side and they go yeah. round and they don't know if they're going to have to leave the country or not. Like, like <laughs> just throw one into the sea. <laughs> like, how does that work? One in, one out. Oh, one's dead now. Come on. And all <laughs> what the fuck? It's just insane to talk about people in that disgusting manner. But I thought that Kieran was a part of that, wasn't he? Um, yeah, he was. But, but he wasn't arguing against it. Wasn't it wasn't his opinion. He no, was but just... he wasn't even arguing for no. that. Because, like, uh, Rafe seemed to be speaking against that theory of one in, one out. And Kieran seemed to not speak for it, I thought. Did you not think? Yeah. There was no argument <laughs> in what Kieran was saying. Yeah. He was actually saying, like, oh, we need... Well, it's Kieran. He probably says, like, oh, we need immigrants to do the crap because we don't want to yeah, do it. No, he didn't actually say sort that. Sort his stupid hair out. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then Joe got really huffy. He was like, I don't want to talk about politics. Joe was just twitching because That's he's unintelligent. And he didn't yeah. want to 
face any of these topics, I thought. So Rebecca's one was said, you shouldn't have kids if you can't afford to have them. True. I actually agree with that. Of course you shouldn't. But you shouldn't, but when people do, what are you going to do? Just let their children starve to death. Can't pay, we'll take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this is the new coalition we're under, we're fucked. <laughs> um, no, but obviously people are going to end up having babies that were unplanned mm. and people that can't afford them will have them. Yeah. But if anyone's planning to have a baby, mm. they shouldn't be planning to have one if they can't afford to look after it. They shouldn't, it. but life, things happen, don't they? Yeah, That's I suppose. Life. You won't be allowed to have an abortion in this country for much longer by the looks of things. Yeah. You joke. Um, so Pro-life. <laughs> <then Tom, laughs> Pro-life. Anyway. <laughs> then Tom, Tom said he thinks we need a vote-off about Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> we already had one. Um, <laughs> vote-off. <laughs> not reality TV, but I wish they would do those referendums by text. Get Europe out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Chanel compared Brexit to taking a handbag back. Oh, yeah, she's like, oh, you can't just like... It's like when you've got a handbag... <laughs> You can't just take handbag back to the shop. Uh, um, you can. <laughs> so, but you get a receipt. <laughs> Show your receipt. Where's the receipt for Brexit? Show Are we still working. within the time frame? <laughs> oh shit, it's the past 28 days. We can't take it back. I think we might still be within the time frame, you know. We ain't triggered Article 50 whatever. Yeah, I think we might We might be good. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, and, oh, and then Chanel was doing a talk about climate change. Doesn't exist, according to Sigvinda. Oh, uh, yeah. She save the penguins. And she said... Something about the oxo layer. Over to you. Oxo layer. Instead I thought of she ozone said, layer. I thought she said oxy zone. <laughs> Did I make that up? <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah. Oxy clean. <laughs> mm. It's just a typical example of a female housemate that has seen the likes of Jade Goody raise, rise to stardom. <laughs> um, <Bye>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just playing the dumb card. Yeah. She's she also, man. hang on, VT, that orange man, yeah. Donald Trump, ozone layer, the oxo layer, or whatever. Fake Jade Goody of, of the week. week. Um, yeah, then Joe was being grumpy. Then I noticed everyone looked like they're in their underwear. Charlotte looked like she was wearing like, yeah, she looked like she was wearing like a black lacy nighty. And Sitvinda had like that off the top shoulder top you mentioned. You could oh, see yeah. her pink bra hanging out. Shameless. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't wear makeup, but bloody hell. Um, <laughs> and then, um, oh, okay. Now how are she going to get that job? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You've got to show a bit of cleavage. Okay, so the, then the task was done. Arthur stood up. Hang on, they were talking about tax, were they? You know, oh, at this fuck point. That. Fuck then that. Arthur, Arthur decided to yeah. take the Here, stage. I'm, I'm giving you this because you say you can do your Arthur impression. It's that bit. Can you see it from there on? Uh, well, the real question is, <laughs> why do you think the world is flat? <laughs> The, wor- the, same, it's the, same. the world is round because I met a bloke who sailed round the world and he told me it's round. And he put, Is that your proof? And then Imran started to get a bit vocal about it. And Arthur goes, Mate, the world's round. Sukvinda so says, I don't want to talk about the flat earth. No, because it's fucking bonkers, love. I don't hang around with fucking morons. Well, don't what? No, I've got I've got northern. I've got northern. <laughs> well, well, don't walk too far that way, my love. You'll fall off, or you'll fall off the fucking edge. It's like <laughs> a one man soliloquy. You've read just the best line. You couldn't script write it. Um, I would have patted myself on the back if I'd come out with that. Definitely, I'd have been like, ah, oh, that was good. If I'd been sick Binder and someone said, don't walk that way, you'll fall off the fucking edge. I would have laughed. Fair play, mate. I would have laughed. What I did have... she say? Well, they, then these two stormed off to the diary. Oh, right? to so, have a little cry. Sigrinda and Imran. And Imran started to say that that was threatening behaviour mm. from Arthur. So once you question an opinion which mm-hmm. is pretty much the world Controversial. over... Controversial. Disagreed <laughs> yeah, with. and uh, false. Unpopular and appear, um, opinion of the week. Yeah. <laughs> um, once you raise that that's not what mm. you understand the world to be, that's threatening to yeah. Imran, which is a bit odd. It's threatening because he can't argue against it because his opinion is completely crackpot. It's but, like a tin pot fucking tinfoil hat theory we have to be careful because why well i don't think we have to be careful no, but don't. i think this is a teaching of the quran i think it's in the quran is it really? that it believes the world is flat now i don't know about this Can wall of someone ice explain this to because i've never ever heard of this before the only people i've heard of saying the world is flat before is 
Tila Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know seen, she said that? I remember her saying it. A lot of it, I've seen Flat Earth, I've seen tweets of her saying about it, and I've seen a Flat Earth hashtag. The thing is, people like. I thought it was like conspiracy People theories. have been circumnavigating the Earth mm. in boats, in planes mm. for like centuries. Mm. Like, this is common knowledge now. We've got satellites, we've got Google Earth. Like, if we know. If there was a wall of ice, someone would have took a pi- fucking picture of it. Plus, yeah, you can see the Earth from space. Exactly. Every fucker's got a selfie stick now. Mm. That'll be all over Instagram. Mm. And it ain't. <laughs> it's. It was... But, like, what I, what I want to know is hang on. Uh, Imran is Muslim and Sukhvinda is Sikh. But mm. so these are both religions are teaching them that the world is flat. I. I don't think what we should. Geography? I don't think we should say that because I don't know if that is a Sikh thing. I don't even know if it's a Muslim thing. No, it is because I've googled. Oh, this. okay. Well, is it a Sikh thing as well? Or not? No, no, I didn't check about if it was okay. a Sikh thing, but okay. I know that it's from the Quran. But if you think about how old the Quran is, of course, people when they wrote the Quran, they didn't know the world was round. That fucking Quran, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Causing us no end of grief, I really. Am her, I am Haram. Um, yeah, but What's the rum? The, it's the like Muslim with, version with, of kosher. It's like, no, it's the only oh, it's sinning sinner. bastard. Yeah, people, someone's called me that on Twitter before. Really? Yeah. God, you better watch yourself. I was yourself. probably saying something offensive. Um, but wasn't this interesting? The way Arthur just stood up and said that and just created a massive scene. It was and cool. It, it was brilliant. Sort of then stepped out yeah. and let it explode. It was brilliant. Um, it's fucking bonkers, mate. <laughs> The only good. thing I don't like is when he calls people love. It's patronising, but still, it was still really, really good. Um, and then Arthur is going to be Arthur's a huge good. character throughout this Arthur, series. We've well, got to keep him into the end. Maybe we could put money on Arthur. Actually, he was already ten to win. he was already ten to one though. Everyone was really? on his side. It's, you, you've got to be careful if they bring back in that vote to evict as well. Mm. Trixie. Um, so yeah, they're crying in the diary room, and then Sikvinda goes, "I'm a big personality." And Imran's... Uh, got a character um, uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. The um, thing is, my difficulty here is I've been like championing Sukhvinda this entire week. Like, I think... I, like, I say Sukhvinda and I'm like, Quee! I like Sukhvinda and I, I like her. Imran. And I love him too. I like, well, he's... I like him as a character. Yeah. I don't I love him, but I you think... You just said you loved him. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Take it back. I think I like... Late, Suk- man, I like Su- I like Sukhvinda more. <laughs> Sukhvinda's given me more be- much better value than like Imran. Her. So I do want her to stay longer. I could, I could see how she's annoying the fuck out of some people, but I like her as a character. And I like him. I like his calming influence. But this opinion that they've got is exactly it's, it's crackpot crazy shit. It's so it's mental. like these are people that I really love, mm. but when they're getting offended by someone not believing in that, like I can't really get on board. No, but was the way that Arthur approached it was that bad? No, I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was great. <laughs> it's funny. So like no, then then Arthur starts on one of the sisters. Oh, he's and... calling them a shit housemate. <laughs> why, why, where did that come from? Well, mm-hmm. I'm inclined to agree with him at the moment. I don't I think know. I've seen much from either of them, there's but some... it's actually one of them he's took a dislike there's to. There's something going on there that we've not seen, probably, basically, isn't probably. there? Probably. Um, then we had this stupid bit where the housemates voted, and Tom said he didn't even couldn't even understand what the ballot paper said. Oh, uh, yeah, they had to <laughs> vote in the... The were actual election. Vote? Were they real votes or not? They were real, genuine votes. I don't, I don't votes. think they were because they said they did. the housemates did a postal vote before they went into the house. Yeah, and they didn't have like an old woman sitting behind a table yeah. where you have to tell them your address box. when you go in. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's weird. They're like, what street do you live on? It's like, none of your business. Exactly. And also, like, they don't ask for any ID. I know, it's weird, isn't it? You could just go down. Like, if you knew your neighbour's name, you could just yeah. pretend. I thought that too. So do they ever like go like, oh shit, someone's already used that one? I know, but I heard that um, the reason why they don't ask for ID is a lot of poor people don't have ID because they can't afford it. So it would like discriminate against poor people if they ask for ID. So that's why they don't ask for ID. That's what I heard. That's Gaz is interesting. Face. No, that's no, it's interesting because like well, we, I agree. I think because, it's odd that you you don't have your ID. What is odd is that our only form of ID is our passport, which actually you have to pay for. Like if you didn't travel, or quid or whatever. Yeah, if you didn't travel, you wouldn't necessarily get one. Mm. Why don't we just have ID cards? That we just get given for free. Well, that's another the whole issue. People don't want ID cards because people don't. People think it's like an infringement on their privacy and stuff like that. Can I have it both ways. Yeah. Fuck off! Like, 
At least you've got something to show when you're getting ID'd in the supermarket and you don't have to get a fucking... For me, I don't drive, so I have Mm. to get a fucking provisional licence or take my passport out. But luckily, I don't get ID'd now, obviously. I got ID'd the other night. (laughs) Did you? I did. Me and my friends both got ID'd and they're both old as well. Mm, Must have been pleased. We just laughed. We thought it was stupid. Was it Um, by someone that... 